Dave, forecasting that atmospheric cap is actually one of the most important and most difficult things that we have to do when it comes to forecasting severe thunderstorms during the spring and summer months. Here's how it happens. Now, as we all know, as you go from the ground up in the atmosphere, it gets colder. The warmest air is below, the coldest air is aloft. And sometimes in the spring and summer months, we get this little wedge of air in between where the temperatures are actually warmer than they are below. It's unusual, but it does happen. That is, in fact, that area that we call the cap. It sits on the atmosphere and completely squashes any upward development. Bottom line is we don't get any thunderstorms, and that's pretty typical of the morning and early afternoon hours during the spring and summer months. Now, you get into the late afternoon hours as the heat starts to build up because of the sunshine, that cap starts to get this bulge that develops and it gets weaker and weaker and weaker. It's a lot like an atmospheric pressure cooker, all that heat building up below. In fact, it's also a lot like blowing up a balloon. You create more and more pressure underneath and eventually that thing is going to blow and you end up with explosive thunderstorms. Dave? Just another example that we do have fun in the Weather Center. Let's take a break. JC is coming up next.